soy el Versena Sosa, and now we're going to talk about objects. In particular, how they relate to vSend. Uh, as you may know, objects are the next thing in storage, where objects allow you to be able to tell the array or your storage entity, hey, listen, um, I want you to store these blocks over here for me, but I also want you to, to provide uh, this protection or striping and so forth. So there's metadata that you can include in the objects uh, that the array can pro use to provide you the, um, those, that SPBN, right? So a storage uh, policy based management. So how does the objects relate to vSAN? Well, we first need to start with a VM. And as you know, a VM is composed of files. Uh, and the most or the most common files that a VM ha uh, has are like the VMX, that's a file. Uh, ooh, MVRAM is another one, although many people forget about that one. That's an actually important file. That's all your files. Ah, the BMDK. Yeah, that's kind of a critical file there. Uh, there is logs, right? Um, let's see, the swap file is there. Uh, ah, snapshots. So when you do the delta file, right, that, that's one as well. If you take the memory, right, the delta memory, uh, the snapshot memory, that's another file. So these are the files that, that the VM has, and there are more, but this will give you the gist of what we want to discuss in this video. And how does vSend translate these files into objects which are then placed in your vSend data store down to the disk groups? And it's rather not too hard to understand how this is done. And the way that I like to think about it, although it's not 100% accurate, is to ask yourself, how big are these files? Are they big files or small files? For example, your BMX file, your MBRAM file, your log file, those are kind of small files. So we'll get back to those in a second. The BMDK file, yeah, that guy is big. So that guy is going to be an object up to itself. That's one object. Your swap file, yeah, that can be big. That's another object. Your delta, your, you know, your snapshots, yeah. Anytime you do one of those guys, you created another object. Congratulations. Memory, you're taking your memory when you take the snapshot, another object, right? So I, I'm hoping you're getting the gist here of if your VM file is rather large, vSAN is going to consider that to be an object. Again, not 100% accurate, but it's a good, rep and a good way to kind of remember this stuff. And now let's go back to the small files, like the BMX file, the MVRAM, the log file. What vSAN does is that it takes these files right here, all those files, and it puts them together into something called the VM home. And guess what? Yep, you got that right. That's also an object. So that's how objects relate to vSAN and your VM. Everything in a VM has to be translated into an object, and now that you have this, you can proceed to be providing SPVM policies to your VM. Again, soy Ebersena Sosa, and thank you for watching the objects video.